Welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2, episode 54, blah, 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 hey, more fucking chow races. Hey, chow races. This is my favorite part of Sonic Adventure 2. These are the challenge races where we actually have some interesting challenges our way. This is uh -huh. Challenge, the strong gold and silver rivals. Meaning that uh. we have nothing but gold and silver chow as our opponents. Oh, and they're special, I'm assuming. They are special, and I have no idea how to bril how to breed one, so don't ask me. Wait, you can actually breed these? Oh yeah, every every child that you see, you can recreate. They're not just nonsense off models that don't exist. If you breed your chows just right, they can look just like that. But hmm. it takes a lot of breeding to do so, and <laughs> it doesn't change their idiocy apparently. <laughs> I'm a silver blab. <laughs> More like a bronze. <laughs> More like the, what, the wooden spoon? Can, yes, can we get a wooden spoon version of these chow? Because apparently they're being left in the dust. Bunch of well, losers. Uh, that's whiskey, isn't it? <laughs> okay, yes. Never mind. We have it taken care of. <laughs> Hitting the whiskey hard. Yeah, why is it whiskey participating? Oh, wait, he sucks. Because he sucks, he's gonna lose. <laughs> you know, I could have sworn we had another chow, but uh, for the life of me, I just can't remember if we had a another specific chow. But mm, yeah, should be. I'm I'm trying to think. Well, it's it's probably nothing. So there's literally nothing different to this. It's just a little harder. It's a. The opponents are a little harder, not by much, though, seeing as how far we're ahead. But it's the idea that they're also throwing everything your way, too. So not only do you have to be the best, you also have to be the brightest, and the smartest, and the fastest, and the strongest, and etc. Nonsense, blah de blah de blah blue blue gotcha. Chow races, you know, that's how that shit works. Chow races! Yeah, this is the most exciting part of it. Okay, I I'm looking at the mini-map right there. All of our opponents are the pink ones, right? Or purple, whatever that color yeah. is. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's us. That's them, I mean. So, we're, 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 we're the blue dot, yes. Is, is there a point in the race where we can just claim dominance over the entire race and just say, Alright, you guys are terrible. Oh, if there was a mercy rule involved, I would have crammed all the <laughs> chow races into one episode. But no such luck, unfortunately. Because I think it'd be h hilarious if you just got so far ahead and then, like, a shotgun icon came up and it's like, go ahead, mercy rules. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Reggie May, why? Okay, we're good. He ran right to it, too. <laughs> he curved his path to go right into it. <laughs> oh, can you imagine if, if our Chow's AI adjusted to how good they actually are? Just to make sure it's a little bit more challenging? That would suck! Well, we're level 99, so it probably can't adjust it too much. Uh, unless you just, like, never moved. Yeah, well. Guys, folks. Alright, uh, next up is Shithy, taking on the next challenge on the challenge list, which is. He Returns. Ooh. Who is he? Who is he? he is a math rock band from Japan. Wait, what? But he but he is also entry number six over there. Oh, these guys look like they're ready to race. No, that guy looks like he's ready to race. Number six there. Because mm. if you look closely, well, you probably can't see too closely, he is just a step above the rest. Yeah. So is this like our lifelong rival that just came back just to show us up in this one race? Oh, god damn it. Apparently he did. And he's apparently blessed with luck, too, or he rigged it so that we'd get the booby trap, but, uh, fortunately, again. Oh, God! Shithy! 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 Come on! You loser! Come on, I didn't raise you to be a loser like this! See? There! Playing dirty! <laughs> That's what I like to see in you, Shithy D! Having powerful flying abilities, that helps us clear the gorge better. No kidding. But again, he is just a step above the rest, but we're like, uh, an entire lap above the rest. So instead of stepping in shit, we're like stepping in mud? Is that basically the equivalent of he? 
um... Everyone else is swimming in syrup, he's swimming in actual water. We are skating on ice. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you for putting it into uh, very simple terms for me. I'm a king of analogies. I'm like the bar mitzvah of the <laughs> fruitcake of the... Wait, hang on. <laughs> Mazel tov, and then you flip a table. <laughs> Shithy. Okay. See? It looks like he's gonna go for something wrong, but he always goes for the right one. Good job, man! Because what I think is happening is that it starts from the top left... Mm -hmm. And I guess it flips a coin, based on the intelligence, on whether that is what they're looking for or not. Wait, so even but, uh, that portion of the race is based on RNG? Well, I don't know if it's RNG-based, but I know that it has to do with the invisible intelligence stat. Again, based on how many times you took your child to school, because you can't have a child and not take it to school, are you crazy? That is true. <laughs> Remember, kids, when you have kids, take them to school. <laughs> Or homeschool, and that might work too. In fact, yeah, just homeschool. Fuck that. Because then, you, because then you're giving all your hard-earned rings to the corrupt Chow Kindergarten. <laughs> the principal's the doctor. The doctor's the principal. They have a fortune teller and a black locker, uh, black market smuggling ring in the locker outside of the main hall. Corruption. So don't give them your money. Corruption, I say. But it still didn't change the fact that we are the best. And he would have been second place because, again, he's a step above the rest, but Emperor Penguin Chow came in third. Yeah, they had no chance. Let's, yeah. let's just, let's just, you know, cut straight through it. They didn't stand a chance. None of them are going to stand a chance. We are so good. We, we are so powerful. This is literally as powerful as Chow can be. I'm like, trying. Oh. Oh, no. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, no. Don't tell me. No. Omo no. 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 Oh, my Omo God. Chow! No. <laughs> no, no. All of no, them are no, disgusting God. Omo Chows. They got that creepy little smile, too. Omo Chows. <laughs> See oh, how they please. do. God, no. Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> you have saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah, it's like a horror film. Ah, you see, to have the, the film Charles. brain and the black and whiteness and then the the Hitchford scream going on. <laughs> see, I think this is a bit against Edgy May because look, all of the coordinators in this race, they're all Omo Chow. They're all playing for their team. Look at this nonsense. Every single individual in this race is an Omo Chow except for Dejime. He's the one difference, and he is going to show the world that regular Chows are better than Omo Chows. Look at his face. He's terrified because he knows if he loses, he's going to get assimilated. Yahoo! <laughs> Run, Dejime! Don't get caught by the bad robot people! You are going to get you, man! Keep going! You That's will why I made you powerful it. so that you wouldn't befall that fate! Go, go, go! Oh, thank yes. God you didn't fall in a trap because there's like spikes down there and you would have been instantly assimilated. We're always ready for a rematch! God, no. <laughs> no, they're everywhere. One no. of us. One of us. One of us. You shall be the master program. <laughs> they, they just stuff us in a suit. Yeah. Gah. All right, Shithy's turn for the fourth race, which is... And... What? Small Animal Challenge. We're racing a what rabbit? We're not just racing a rabbit. Uh. We're racing small, tiny baby animals. The kinds that we get in the action stations. Aw, oh, the kinds that we feed we to Shithy. Gorilla! Gorilla! Pangu! Rabby! Cheetah! Pangu and Dickface. Why does he got to be a Dickface? Well, actually, sorry, it's Dickfack. Oh, <laughs> shit! <-hey! laughs> you useless waste of space! The joke was so bad he fell over. <laughs> so even without using stamina, he can just run past him, no problem. Aren't these the animals that we feed to our chows? 
Yes, they, they are. You suck well, the life energy. Take take their energy. Here they're uh, getting their revenge. If we win, we take his soul. Oh no no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're actually gonna take his life force. Yeah, chat races. Well, I mean, they can't all be good, right? Well, if they were, we wouldn't have. It wouldn't be a Sonic game. Well, why would it be interesting to see the guy who wins everything win everything? Maybe you want to see him win everything by the way he wins everything. I, I guess. But, you know, everybody likes a good underdog story, and everybody has not stood a chance at all. Well, we, actually, we did have an underdog story. We were, we were going to get all 180 chows. We were... Uh, 180 chows. 180 we're gonna chows? Get, fuck! <laughs> we were going to get all 180 emblems, and we were the underdogs at one point, weren't we? We were going to, you know, well. rise up to this Im impossible challenge and do it all, and then... Well, the, the flip side, where the underdog becomes the champion, that just happened a bit early on in our story. Do you think it'd be, like, really cruel to have an underdog story? Oh, God, it's a horrible cockroach chow group. Oh, dear. But instead of, of insect chows, nasty. <laughs> instead of the underdogs, it just it just follows the life of the winner, but it's designed around, you know, having the underdogs being the main characters, but the guy always wins. What on earth? Isn't that, isn't that every underdog story ever made? No, but even by the end, the underdogs still don't win. Uh, oh. So, <laughs> Friday Night Lights. <laughs> Damn it, it's already been done. D oh, <laughs> alright. Well, I guess we won this one in the bag. <laughs> See ya! Yeah, they're cockroaches, we get it. Let's win. I'm just waiting for the programming to kick in and they find the secret door. The programming to kick in? Well, they look like how, machines. How was about going to have a, a joke where I change the channel onto a different Let's Play or something? <laughs> <laughs> Thou art I, and I am... I can't go backwards. I can't go forward. I can't turn. I, uh... Okay, how is she talking with a cock in her mouth, okay? It should really uh, sound like... <laughs> shit's already been done, though. We have been programmed. They cannot be stopped. They are coming. They get are Sonic coming. Doll. Don't get the fruit. Don't get the fruit. Don't get, get the, the Sonic fruit. doll. Okay. Get the Sonic doll. Get the Sonic doll. Hey, imagine that. You got the Sonic doll. I had every ounce of faith instilled in you, Dejime, and you did not fail me. You know, I thought he was going to get the Sonic doll, but then he threw a curveball and got the Sonic doll instead. I was a bit worried for a second. Dude, you can't even tell with Dejime. He's just a loose cannon. We need to stop this mad chow. I was a little worried that he didn't get the Sonic doll, but uh, when he got the Sonic doll, I think he more than made up for it, so I think we're in the clear. I mean, he just he just absolutely cannot be stopped. We need to talk to the chief and see if we can't take away his badge. He's just too too crazy with his job. Something to oh. notice, though. They are quite a bit what? ahead than they normally are, so these guys are pretty fast. They were pretty fast, and I, I think we're finally getting to my, my dream of an underdog story. Except it's not going to come true. Yeah, it's not going to come true, but, I mean, it's a, at least a little closer. By the I way... Mean, yeah, everyone loves a good underdog story, but there's no way Chao Tzu is going to beat Broly, okay? <laughs> not without training. Not without some bullshit Deus Ex Machina <laughs> writer's plot point nonsense, like, I somehow gained the power of Goku and Vegeta as Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, so now I can kill everybody with one punch! Hey, Shenron! Punch can I beat Broly?! Oh my egg! Eggs? Eggs. Eggs! 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 Like, like eggs with eyes. Egg! 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 And unborn chicken fetus. Oh, God, you just had to go there? I always gotta go there. Apparently, apparently, I have a knack for throwing conversations <laughs> right in the dumpster. <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> well, think about it. We were just having a casual chat over He-Man and you brought up fucking butterfly skin. That's that terrible. Is, that is true, but to th to, I don't bring every single conversation into the dumpster. 
Americas. In the dumpster, that's where you find unborn fetuses from uh, dejected teen mothers who didn't get what they wanted for Christmas. Fuck you! Uh, Don't do that. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> just, I was actually more offended at the uncanny ability part. It's like, is it really that uncanny? I mean... <laughs> more, it's like seamless. It's just, I, I don't think you even know you're doing it until it's far too late. Probably not. Anyway, Shithy reminds me of those starving Ethiopian children, and oh my god, I did it again. Wow. <laughs> okay, that was on purpose. I could tell on that one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he must be Kenyan. He runs fast. <laughs> Anyway, Ultra Director Jester, I am the United Nations of good taste. <laughs> Don't bullshit your audience. <laughs> Don't give them that shit. <laughs> hey, two more races, right? Yep. Next one is oh the my skeleton god. group. Oh no, now they've got oh. skull heads. Oh my god, they're dead! Are these all the chows we didn't take care of? Um, no, but that's what the chows that we don't take care of are gonna end up being. Oh my god. Oh, and it's taking place at night. Perfect spooky. Actually, um, what happened is that these chows, uh, they're actually rampant, rampant white supremacists. <laughs> because they hear the term skinhead. <laughs> and then they go, oh, that must mean that we we don't have any hair. But then they realize that, well, they're they're always bald anyway. So then they realize they had to go the extra mile to oh being a skinhead, oh being God. a bonehead. So they they use a scalpel and, scra oh, and scraped boy. off all their face and all their muscle. So that means they really, really don't like. Uh, well, what would be a minority to a chow? I don't know. What dirt? How would a chow be racist against? <laughs> I don't know, but I, j I just want the clip from He-Man saying, Leave him alone, Boneface! <laughs> <laughs> Boys went to a weird place, didn't it? <laughs> you, you white supremacist, really? White supremacists well, well, cutting off all their skin? They didn't like skinheads, so they became boneheads? Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? Some people are dedicated to their hate. It's fucked up, man. <laughs> yeah, just ask the internet. Well, yeah, a, man. A, a place where you can literally hate anything for any reason and it still Here, won't make okay, sense. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll talk about the technical aspects about the chow racing. See, but your chow has to be smart enough oh to not God. only oh, Just look go back to what the, you were talking they got, about. They gotta look at the image, and they gotta <laughs> realize that it's, that it's the thing that they need to move on, and then when they go forward, they gotta retain that information and remember it, and also recognize the thing they get. So that's three steps in getting... Stay in school, kids, okay? It'll help you win races. <laughs> so what is that... Th Okay, Don't be a white supremacist because you'll always lose races and you'll always suck and be a loser and a miserable piece <laughs> of shit. <laughs> okay, okay, we got it. Oh, that, that's a thing that just happened, alright. Hey, we'll just uh, stamp that in the ground now. <laughs> hey, Dejime, how do you like pitfalls? And? Not that much, apparently. Oh, wow. I actually thought he was going to go straight for it and... Yeah, and fall straight in. It's almost like the pitfalls oh. exist on the sides and not the center, so it's like he got smart and yeah. realized, wait a minute, if I go on the side, it's gonna fucking drop me. Ha 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 ha, bonehead! Now he's Grand Wizard. Dude. That's not a good thing. Oh, never mind. Grand Wizard is the head of the KKK. You know, let's stop with the race jokes, oh, okay? Geez, that's, that's, enough. That's, enough. Oh. that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Last race. I hate this episode. Pumpkin ah, group. Pumpkin face. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, Jacko shit. Ha <laughs> ha. It's funny because they have pumpkin heads. <laughs> they do Look have at pumpkin them. heads. You ever seen Pumpkinhead the movie? No. Good. They they suck balls. Okay. They're terrible. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Bill Clinton's cousin or something is in the second one or something. <laughs> I, I thought that was his brother. I don't know. You think I care about the Clintons? I mean, 
you know, depending on the vote down in the comments, you might or you might not. Yeah, like people vote in the comments. <laughs> if if uh if Bernie won in my comment section, does that mean that he gets to be president? <laughs> Topical humor alert. <laughs> Sound the alarms! Woo! <laughs> we got topical humor up in this biz match! Oh! <laughs> Just turn it into like a DJ, a DJ show. We've got all the stories today, today, today that are very topical. Why do pumpkins eat? Why do peanuts stand? Why do bones head? Why does head butt? Oh no. I'm thinking. Thinking's hard. Yes, this is the let's play that gets everybody to think about themselves because. <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy, this has been a weird fucking episode. By the way, dude, I've got a movie for you to watch. It's. It, it totally has to do with, you know, all of this and stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm certain. Yeah, yeah, uh, A Christmas Horror Story. It's actually one of the best horror slash Christmas movies I've seen in a very long time. So uh, Is it that movie that has, like, the four stories that kind of go in between one yeah, another? It's, no, that oh, yeah, one. I saw that, too. It was actually pretty fucking cool, you know? It, it was, was uh, really... I think it was, like, produced or written or one of the two, or it, was, it had something to do with... Uh, David Hayter had a hand in it. Oh, really? Really. Really? Yeah, really. Well, that explains the really good twist. I like oh, that one. Oh, shit, hey. Come on, it was your big jump and you ruined it. I mean, he's still doing pretty good. I'm actually surprised these pumpkin things are managing to stay this close. This is the hardest challenge stage that we have. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> oh, yeah. We're, we're, we're about done here. Oh, my God. You mean there's an end in sight? There is an end in sight, and there it is, and that's Oh, well, there, there goes that. Goal! Done! Yay! Over with! Yes! God, I hate these fucking jaw races. Good job, Shithy! You did it! And you got a jack you, in your face! You got a jack in the box, the same kind that's used in the race, because, hey, recycled assets, am I right? <sighs> God damn. We'll see you next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Bye. Racing Chow's Stupid Bit uh, Black. <laughs>